Today I'm going to demonstrate how the 3D model builder works. In this video, I'm going to create a couplet of Athens on a smaller scale. The user can use his right hand as a mouse and perform left clicks by making a pinch. After the user chooses an object, he can also perform a more specific scaling using Maya's UI scaler and choosing in which axis to scale the object. The user can scale the selected objects up and down by making a pinch using his left thumb and left ring finger and moving the right hand up to scale up and down to scale down. Here the user can move the selected object by pressing the move button from Maya's UI and then dragging the object to the needed position. He can also select whether to move it freely across the three axes or select an axis to move along. Here the user duplicates the selected object by performing a key tap with the left hand's index finger while making sure all other left hand fingers are not extended. The user can now perform the same gesture to create all needed columns. Here the user selected all objects by holding the pinch and releasing it after having all objects in the selection area and then moving them all together. And now to create the ceiling with the same size as the floor, we choose the floor and perform the tap gesture to duplicate it and move it to its desired position. And to create the roof, we select a cube and then scale it to the needed shape using Maya's scaler. Now in order to create a rooftop like shape, we need to rotate it clockwise. We do this by extending the left hand's pinky finger and rotate the right hand's index finger clockwise. We can also rotate the selected object anti-clockwise by doing the same but rotate the index finger anti-clockwise. And that's it, a smaller version of Acropolis. Thank you for watching.